Here we go. Another day, another Back dollar. At Back We're at back. it, the boys. Another episode. No pun intended, huh? No pun intended with that. We're just going to keep saying we're back at it. Yep. Here we are. We're uh, back. We're going to do this for another five minutes. We're here. We're back. <laughs> Lies golf. Brendan always extends it. So that's how he, he always does that. He makes the joke and always I extends extend it. it. Yeah. I feel like you extend yeah. it. <laughs> no, you always saying something about it extends it in itself. So that's that's the extension. So Brendan adds the double extension Hello, Good Lies Golf. Now I'll leave That's the right. music on. We'll let it run out a little. There you go. Overlaid somewhere. How we doing? <laughs> Edit the hell out of that. <laughs> chef, how you doing, Chef? Yeah, we saw What's you happening? chefing all week. Yeah, man, I've been cooking more than golfing, so the weather hasn't been that great still. So we're going to just enjoy the food for now, you know? It's You're enjoying good. the food. Not much enjoying golf update food. on Ant, but food nah, updates. man. What did you cook? That's all right. I cooked a lot of food, man. I, I did a bunch. I did a lot of salmon. I did some, like, sea bass. A lot of nice salads, a lot of fresh stuff, you know, really clean. These guys are eating super clean turkey bacon, you know, fresh fruit daily. Just the goods, you know, just all the, the goods. goods. Eating good life. Eating good. Eating good. Dude, you got to keep the body tight to keep the game tight. I'm telling you, brother, this yeah. six pack's hard to keep up with. No. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I, club there. I'll turkey never have club. it. Uh, I'll never have it. Yeah. And Brendan's joining us from uh looks like Miami. outside a parking lot of a Wendy's. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. This is definitely not a parking lot. This is definitely not a Wendy's. How's the weather? There? How's the weather? Miami. Oh, it's beautiful, man. We went beautiful. out. On He's in my jummy. Cruise. Yep. Yeah. Did, did a little boat cruise today, you know, a little four That's hour good. boat cruise, hit the sunset. It was nice. I've been hitting up the beach, hitting up the pool almost every day for the last like three days. Is it crazy yeah. there right now or what? Packed wise? You, what's that? Is it crazy like people wise all over the place? It's wild. I mean, that's just Miami, dude. I, yeah. I, I, nothing against Miami. Nothing against the people in Miami. <laughs> I could zoo. not live here, dude. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a zoo. The traffic is unbelievable. It yeah. takes you like 45 minutes to go two miles. Uh, it's insane. I mean, you guys know that, you know, oh, of course. Peak, peak season during, you know, the summer for you boys. It's, it's bananas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The only difference is, I mean, this is it's year round here. You know what yeah. I mean? yeah. You get all sorts of people coming down here no matter what time of year. And it's always just a madhouse. Uh, I've yeah. always preferred the West Coast of Florida, if you want to oh, be man. honest about it. I hear that. That's not I like bad the Tampa too. area, too. Yeah. Yeah. That Tampa, Tampa, get, Tampa gets it in. Yep. And that they do. Uh, Brendan's yeah, down there. Do. He's covering the Miami Live tournament. That's what he's doing down there. He's covering it. He's our Good Lies golf correspondent. Yeah, yeah. The only problem is, Sherm, is my travel agent uh, booked the wrong week. So I've been down here. I've been covering Live Golf. Uh, we're playing at Trump International in Miami um, starting on Friday, but I'll be headed back to Ohio by then. So, <laughs> um, you know, we we had the there's scheduling conflicts. I uh, found out the the prices on airfare were cheaper the week before, um, and now I understand why. You thought um, you were doing time travel, exactly. <laughs> nice. exactly, exactly. Sweet. Exactly. You thought you could just make time up for a day. Nice. There you go. You get some footage. Believe. Get some footage of the practice round. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you yeah. can still go there today, <laughs> tomorrow. Get a little practice footage. You know. Yeah, Check the out only, our guy. The only footy I'm getting here is the little uh, toilet golf game that I was given for Easter. I laid the mat down around my toilet and just, you know, hit a couple of putts there, play full 18. <laughs> so, uh, you know, my wife's always asked me, what the hell are you doing in the bathroom for 30 minutes? Well, now it's going to be an hour and it's because I have to play the back nine, too. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to yeah. take a little longer than the norm. That's, that's right. yeah. Yeah, that's right. Man. That's it's our funny, guy. Though. It's funny, dude. Uh, it was a little Easter present to me. It was kind of a, it was supposed to be like a joke, but uh, kid you not, the first person that pulled it out of the box was Kai. So, you know, the, the kid was excited to play some golf while he was taking a dump. He's <laughs> definitely my son. I wiped my yeah, own I'm ass. Didn't fall for. <laughs> kid wipes his own ass. Yeah. No, actually, it's <laughs> speaking of that shit, man, this is hilarious. I got two things to say about that. Uh, one is he's still to this day is almost seven years old. He's seven in September. Uh, he'll wipe his ass and then he'll go, Dad, can you come check to see if my bum's clean as a whistle? 
I'm, like, I'm good, bro. I'm good, man. I don't need to see that. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. Oh, I don't know where you got. Take second, thing, second thing I got to say. What an this. old this expression. Is one of, I know, dude. He's like, what? That's an old timey expression. He's like, what is he, 94? <laughs> I, probably, oh. dude. Uh, given the fact that his favorite music's classical and he loves marching bands, he probably is 94. Um, analog man. He's an analog man <laughs> in a digital world, man. <laughs> yeah. That is a fact. But, dude, the other thing I thought about when you mentioned, you know, wiping your own ass, this was one of the funniest things I've experienced in a long time. And I'm not like, I, I'm not a storyteller, so I'm not going to do it justice. It's probably only funny to me, but we're staying here at this condo and there's, there's three little dogs and I kid you not every single day, it is one of them is shit. And we're trying to figure out which one did it in the condo yesterday. Funniest thing I've seen in a long time is there are two dogs that were potential culprits and the owners of both dogs were literally picking them up saying, well, it, it can't be my dog. It's got long hair. I don't see any <laughs> diarrhea in the hair. And the other one's like, well, it can't be mine. Mine's got long hair too. And they're literally like showing off assholes to oh each other my of God. Dogs, trying to determine which one did it. Cause neither one wanted to say that their dog. I wish off. one of them just shat right there. Diarrhea oh in both their faces. Oh my God. You that would have been, that would have been, dog poop. That would have been the pinnacle yeah. of life right there. That would have been. I, was dying like literally you guys are like having an ass off right now saying which one <laughs> that's a larry shit. david like sit like that's a scene yeah. like that's a skit from seinfeld <laughs> oh yeah. my god that's insane sure. it's insane for sure a curb scene that is, it that gets is weird down there the in florida game. man start the yeah it does florida it people weird. are weird anthony's down there all the time he knows time. you know we got we got the freaking live golf down there they're all you know that's weird it's getting weird, weird in miami it's getting, getting weird, weird. Down here. yeah it's gonna get that's weird out there. Harold Varner's <laughs> teeing off our guy, Harold Varner. That's my, my guy. That's my guy. Good luck he, to him. He, hope he hope he tees it off, smacks him good. He's been winning, I, so I put some money on him this week. I mean, he's been yeah. he's been playing at you know uh, the twenty three course, Grove twenty three all week, right? So he's yep. he's been he's getting been training, his, his Florida ready vibes go. ready. He doesn't have that long travel to get in here. He's already been down here for a week. He's, he's gonna be lighting it up, I think. Comfy, clean bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, not I, I, unless I, I, I it hits the that. clubs, the other clubs. <laughs> <laughs> not not the irons, the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other clubs in the bag. No, it's yeah. that's. I, I think it's going to be a fun. This one's actually going to be the one I'm watching up all weekend because I think it's going to be an entertaining uh, matchup. And I think also same thing. PGA, you got the little fun. I feel like this is the fun tournament too. Like the Valeros, the fun tournament between like the masters and it's like the little pocket people use as like their fun round before the masters get serious. But then what sleeps is that you get guys that are desperate and dying to make the cut into the masters. So you get like the scrappy, scrappy, small guys really fighting for their lives. And then the other guys that are thinking they're coasting, they start getting crept up on, on the leaderboard. So I kind of like the Valero in that way, how it's a weird tournament. Like people kind of sleep on it, but then people are also going crazy aggressive and you yeah. meet that in the middle, and it's a weird tournament to see that. You could use hole. that momentum to go right into the following week too, as well. If you're if you're playing hot, you know, somebody a guy like that. Scotty, that's what he's yeah, gonna, yeah. you know, you roll over. If you want to roll over into the next week or whatever. I mean, it's not like it's gonna. It's not a guarantee, but it has to be a great feeling. You're like, oh, I'm gonna bang one out here, you know, and then bam, roll over, take the that. That would be crazy, but I mean, you never know. If you're you're playing hot, you're playing hot. Talking about the Scotty rollover, I mean, the dude's Oof. playing lights out all year, but damn, the five footer. Ooh. Miss the five footer. To he can't put. He can't put like I can. Goals. You know, that's his problem. He can't put like me, and I, it's always been his issue. Sherm could do that blindfolded on one leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> broken leg, like the Kobe game, like broken ankle, like straight up. Dude, it is. It's almost like he was just like, ah, fuck it. I'll give this one to Jaeger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, hey. yeah. <laughs> Scott, he's like, yeah. yeah, I don't want to win another one, dude. I'm tired of doing press interviews and like grabbing trophies yeah. and doing fucking right. dinners <laughs> at the president, the club president's house. He's like sick of like going to do all the little like pressers after the, the wins. He's like just <laughs> sick of winning. Yeah, I got, I got oh too God. much. I got too much cash right now. My caddy's made more than Rory this year. Like crazy. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and think crazy. about like a guy like Marshawn Lynch or something, how annoyed he got with like pressers after being so successful as just like a talent. Same yeah. thing with him. It, you get annoyed after you get asked all these questions all the time and everybody's just 
asking you the same shit. And Scotty's super chill, so it's not like he really gives a fuck. And it's golf, so it's like less contact sport. You know, it's yeah, not as like yeah. it's not as like you intensity to, yeah, as football, yeah. where somebody's you know coming off with some shit on their shoulders, you know, some dirt. They want to they want to <laughs> scream in the microphone. Yeah. That's usually normal. Yeah. But you know, golf is a little less like aggressive in that sense. But it's still got to be annoying after winning that often to like keep going. Oh, go oh, poor Scotty has to win millions and do pressers, but. And I know it's, that's how it it's sounds. It's the but... same people, though. That's what sucks. It's like the same coverage, same media, same people. And it's like, come on, man. Like, Well, they need more fun in golf. And I've said yeah. this all the time. That's why I love, shout out again, Country Club Liv? adjacent. Those oh. guys. <laughs> well, yeah, but what they do with Liv. They get in yeah. the pressers and they ask hilarious questions, like stupid, dumb stuff that like just is hilarious. Like that's what you want to see golfers yeah. like open up with. You want to see them kind of open up their personality because golf is such an enclosed game that you – you don't really get to learn about these guys. Full swing kind of was the first put push in, into in that, depth but, in depth. Yeah. Yeah. But really before that, there wasn't any kind of like into that besides documentaries about tiger or, you know, Arnold Palmer or, you know, Nicholas. Whoa, or whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful the way you say those legends names right there. <laughs> well, I'm rattling <laughs> off the ledges, you know, you know, sneak all those guys, but I was going to say, speaking of, I mean, you just met like tiger. Uh, do you guys see they're going to be doing like a, quick little like you know documentary type thing of his 2019 masters yeah super Saturday. cool yeah dude that's gonna be epic man i'm looking forward to that shit Tune you know it's gonna that. be done right yeah yeah that's gonna I'm be looking dope forward to that i mean the hell the freaking trailer like minute 45 seconds i was like i was jacked up about yeah, it yeah you know I mean? <laughs> it gets you going yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that, one of those movies where you could just feel like this is gonna be a good one yeah yeah, I mean that that ended up. I just saw they they kind of like ranked some of the top masters uh, victories ever, and and that was number one. I don't I, I can't remember off the top of my head like what the source was, but um they went through a number of them, and it was like you kind of forget how epic that win was because it it kind of was a comeback. It was one of those times, even though we've done it a thousand times with them with all the shit he's gone through, but. He was yeah. kind of written off, and it was like, when, you know, is he ever going to win again? And bam, you know, he ends up doing it. Funny yeah. thing is, I actually yeah. uh, just was just scrolling around, messing around, looking, and I didn't know if he was going to be, like, where, where he was going to be at, like, you know, betting-wise. So I click on it, and I start looking down for, you know, outright winners. I automatically scroll to the bottom, like, how are they going to do Tiger? He was right in the middle. You know, he wasn't he wasn't that low. It was like, he's got a he's got a. He cool always has a chance. Game. Oh yeah, they always we'll talk about them. masters more like yeah, in sure. depth, but yeah, it's oh like, yeah, I could, but for me when I looked at it, I was like, oh, surprisingly, like wow, yeah, don't I mean, sleep that's... on the old guy or the OG, you know? No, no, you can't. Well, you can't ever sleep on Tiger at Augusta. It's like sleeping on you know whatever, whatever. It's you can't it's something basic. You can't ever sleep on. I can't think. Of <laughs> He's like you can't. You can't. I'm you fucking can't high. I can't think of it, but whatever, man. <laughs> you just you can't sleep if you're sleeping because you're already. You can't sleep, sleep dude. Like if you're sleeping, sleeping on sleep. All right. <laughs> Better Speaking of represent. So we sure. got to take care you of this financial business or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did play okay, a little golf. We could do that. Oh, hold <laughs> on. No, no, let's what? get the petty. He's right. He's right. I, I, you know, I, business is always comes first, you know. Oh, you know? yeah. This, this, before this, is, this is a crisp right. $10 go. bill popping in the air, but I can't if you can't hear that. Um, I'm, a little, I'm a little upset that, you know. My guy, the, the legend, Billy Ho, coming out clutch smoking Akshay Olive Branch Batia. I wouldn't say smoke. smoking them by one stroke. I was gonna say I wouldn't say smoke, <laughs> but uh and Akshay hey, had a that was a call. Too, if that was two. if that was a bet in itself, I would have won big on Vegas. I should have put money on that. That hey, really ho would have sure. came out. Go ahead and you know shout out the athletic hey. <laughs> Make yeah. sure you uh, have the report. Make sure you, yeah. you know, shout out, shout out to everybody. No, yeah. it was it was Billy Ho all the way. I just read in the <laughs> list of odds. I liked it. I liked his wow. odds. I was like, damn, they're giving Billy way too shitty odds right now. He's a great golfer. He's been playing well. Um, and yeah. and I think he in this field in this in this course, I knew he was going to play well. He actually gave it a solid shot. I mean, even even to the end, um, just had a really bad. I think it was his second day that he shot really bad. I think that's what kind of took him back over, but. Um, I forget which day out of the four that he kind of botched, but whatever it was, I mean, you know, hell of a tournament and I'm excited for Valero to come up this week and Valero, we know TPC course. So it's a TPC uh, endeavor at uh, San Antonio Oaks course. And it's fucking sweet. 
Like I wish I could golf there, you know, but I'm broke, so can't do it. But it's seven thousand four hundred thirty eight yards and par seventy two. What do you mean? <laughs> oh shit, oh. yeah, dude. I can buy like I can buy the <laughs> ad. <laughs> I'm not, I buy the ad that comes and pops up for the tickets. That's about it. Oh man. Yeah, um, before we jump into the attorney though, this where we sure you you golf, man. Tell us about it. Oh yeah, I mean, I did golf. I did golf with Zach Grossman, our our uh, our valiant Good Lives Golf members. Um, and yeah, so we went out there at Sag Harbor, and we met up with my buddy Andrew Burke. Shout out to him. We all got out there. Um, I think it was his buddy Nick too. Oh God, that's not his name. Um, but. We went out there and we shot a hell of a front nine. It was just me and Zach and it was clean front nine at Sag Harbor Golf Club, you know, local course, $25, all you can play 18s. No pressure. And no pressure out there, you know, may or may not have done a spliff at some point before the round and got out there and just played solid golf, you know, just real solid golf, just, just solid. Let's start it off. Let the start it off with a six. <laughs> Solid. Start it off with a <laughs> double, and then second hole. You know what? Got a got a less than a double. Got a bogey. So I was I was bringing down the scorecard, and then third hole, another bogey. So I didn't like get there, and then fourth hole, another bogey. So yeah. yeah. Just boat, you know, I was playing, I was playing bogey like golf. kind of bogey golf on that front nine, just kind of making it work and hitting great shots. And I tell you what, ever since Zach coached me on this new grip, I, it's changed my whole game. Like seeing the three knuckles and doing the proper grip and changing my grip up before, yeah, before every single yeah. real drive I have or <laughs> chip shot or whatever, it just feels, or wedge, whatever I'm using their irons, it just feels so good. And the, the swing feels yeah. so much more net. Oh shit. Well, I think I just broke my phone, um, but the, it just feels a lot more natural uh, to swing now. So I, I'm feeling good about the new swing change up and, and I'm playing well. And oh, yeah. putting has been good. My speed on my putter is like spot on. I just got to get the aiming a little better, but my speed has been like right there, right up to the wild, just little, you know, tap ins, um, not for, not for par, but little tap ins, <laughs> you know, Um <laughs> doesn't matter what yeah. the score is. You I know, did par one hole. Um, and I did last week, I did birdie a hole. So I felt good, you know. I had some, keep you coming back. Keep me coming back. Keep me coming yeah. back. There we go. That's That's why why we I did. actually didn't even count my score, so I don't know. But it's probably in the 105, 10, something. Not great. Could be 200. Could be 200, to be honest. Still a great day. Still great, a great day, day out there. Great day for some <laughs> golf. Good grass. Good lies. That's it. Good. Great lies. Great lies. That's Always awesome. great. Lies. Was it yeah. cold or what? How cold was it? Honestly, the weather was, it was an overcast day, but the weather turned around really quickly. It was cold in the beginning. Then it turned kind of like hot on us. So I had to take my jacket off and boom, finish the rest of the day out. Little sunset at the back nine. Our but So yeah, so I actually forgot to mention. So our front nine went like that, whatever, good front nine. Then our buddy, uh, my buddy who just randomly happened to be there showed up, popped up onto the course. And I was like, he went up to the first tee box, like being like, hey guys, what's up? And I was like, hey man, I know you like joking around. He was like, oh <laughs> fuck. Cause I was wearing a beanie, you know, you can't see the long red hair. with Cold out. And so we, we all played together. His buddy was there and they're hell of a, they're hella good golfers. So they're, you know, they're shooting, they're, they're in single digit handicaps. I think both of them. So they're both solid golfers and I'm the, you know, asshole with the 40 handicap playing with them. But I'm over there, you know, three, three of them and me, and we just had a good day, man. And they're, they're, it was inspiring to see people who can actually swing a golf club properly for 18, you know, for a nice nine holes, like crazy, crazy. When you like are around people that give it that ping and that like speed. And just like when a swing looks good and it's like, like a real yeah. golf swing. We haven't golfed in a while together. I mean, you miss seeing that. <laughs> I miss seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly i know i haven't seen you golf in a while that's the problem man that's that, 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 i haven't seen me golf man yeah we're gonna need that this year we're gonna need like a, <clears throat> whether it happens multiple times or like a year end one v one petty versus sherm like oh boy he's getting the cooked. chips down Let's he did cook it. me last time we played oh. uh but i'm not gonna let that happen ever again so oh a, any any oh man i'll cook you i'll play lefty using your clubs <laughs> <laughs> Stop. 
you know what? I'm going to beat you in mini golf and then beat you in real golf twice. Listen, like I'm going to beat you. Gonna double, I'm going to beat you in both thing? arenas, both arenas, <laughs> just to take the pride. Both. Both. Don't you play mini both. golf on a regular course anyways? It's always putter. Yeah, it's always, always putter. putter. And I did use it many times in that last round. I even used it in a weird lie where I was on a mound. Or like a, I had a lie like this. Like it was like that and the ball was stuck here and the green was way over here. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going to chip it because it's the weirdest angle to like chip down on this thing. So I'm just going to putt it and give it enough speed to like give it a little boost roll in. <laughs> and it went right onto the green. Perfect hit. Went right on and boom. I was like a, I don't know, eight footer away from the fucking hole not too bad i'd love to see you play the third hole at sag and uh tee off with your putter i think you listen, might be all listen, right i'm a firm believer that if you <laughs> put me and wyndham clark on a golf course together and it was a putting competition from off the green long distance off the green i'd fuck his shit up oh, oh <laughs> like no oh, questions man. asked wow. i would dominate that yeah, yeah, like just I'll back challenge back. any yeah. PGA Tour golfer, including Sam Burns, the legendary Texas Wedger, um, oh. to a off the distance green putt off to closer oh. to the hole. Closer oh, to the wow. hole? You're kidding. Oh, Sign you said up. PGA, so I, you, you kind of let Cam Smith out of that. I was waiting. Oh, all right. Well, you can pick right, the live guys too. That. Whatever. Now that we're clear pick on the that. Guys. Okay, okay, okay. You said PGA. You didn't pick say the live guys, dude. Both of them. Pick anybody. Okay. I'm confident do in my off the green putter Don't skills. Do that. I'm like a wizard. <laughs> give me, give me forty yards out of clean grass with a nice putter. Just. <laughs> uh, it's got to be just and right. watch the whole club hate me, including all of its players. Can't be dirty grass. It's got to be clean. Uh, clean. Clean grass. Clean cut. Yeah, speaking of cam and clean cut, dude, did you see he took off the mullet? Yeah. Oh, boy. Mulletless Said it got cam. old. What's going to happen with that, man? I'm, I'm interested to see how his game plays out after that. That's yes. always a big thing when you change a big personality thing and then then you got to go win or lose. And then people are like, oh, it's his hair. Then you know, then you have to worry about people talking about it on ESPN. You're like, God, That's Stephen A. Swag. Smith is ranting about my hair on ESPN. This is ridiculous. <laughs> right. Why like, is this a topic? <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing better in the world to talk about right now. <laughs> just, this shit. <laughs> just yelling at Cam Smith because he'd cut off his mullet. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ball's going a lot faster now, you know. The wind, the, you know, the, the it's just aerodynamically, he's got to learn to adjust with the haircut. Yeah, that's it. He's got to learn. Gets get no one mud flaps anymore. He's got to let that oh, breeze God. go. But look at you, man. Let him know those flaps. Let him know, dude. Cam, dude, just let it cut it. But Business in the front, party, party in the, in the back. back. That's that, and that's what TPC San Antonio be going to be today. Because I'll tell you. It's a party down in Texas. They drink over there at that tournament, dude. I've heard from a couple of caddies on the low low. They just do keg stands in the fucking locker room. Here we come now. Yeah. That's what I heard. Heard it from a birdie, dude. Don't trust they me. Also wear assless chaps. I'm pretty Oof. sure. That's the uh practice call me ground. Miles Davis. But bringing it in, TPC, like we were saying, it's kind of like this weird tournament in between the two, you know, the two bigger ones. Like people love to see last week um uh for a little like pre mass because now think about it scotty played last week i don't even think scotty's playing this week no um, he's not in why no, would so you he's, even bother he's just like, taking your yeah, back a week off but then you got guys that are hungry as shit trying to punch their ticket in to get in here so it, it's a kind of a weird competitive tournament but who do you guys like who do you guys like in the field that you guys are thinking about when you're looking at odds or looking at whatever i'm not liking putters man i like short short game i like wedge play putters mm -hmm. Oh man, I mean, I'm looking here. I, I put together, you know, just a list of guys, and I'm looking down them. It's literally all putters. I love Ludwig Auberg. Yeah. Uh, yep. Been on. He's been playing yep. outrageous all year. Uh, Beesenhut. He might be one of the better players on tour that no one's talking about yeah. for the last. I don't he's, know. Yeah, he's he's quietly months. getting right up there. Yeah. Your boy yeah. Billy Horschel. He could have another nice week. The thing about him, and he's been going under the radar, and it was a good call last week. I, I was hesitant with him last week because I wanted to see how things played out. But he's having a resurgence here, and I guess it's because they actually, you know, changed kind of the degrees on all his irons um, yeah. recently. So that's kind of helped out his game. Uh, but then, you know, I like You Alex hear that, Norton. Anthony? You hearing all this? You writing it oh, down? I'm hearing it. Right. I like right. Alex Norn, and I like uh, – 
Evan Van Ruyen, man. Yeah. I, all these guys are putters, man. I like I like the Noren call like a lot. And and uh that does seem like there's a good possibility with him. That one sticks out. And then the uh Ludwig as well. Yeah. To me, those jump right at me. I'm like, okay, yep. that, that might be uh you never know if they're, if they're on their own. Those two who do you really... who do you have Ann, as your top twenty lock? Who's your top uh, twenty lock lock? For me, for the lock, I think I'm gonna have to go with uh Tommy Fleetwood. Tommy, Personally. Tommy Fleetwood, dude. Wow, Tommy. nice pick. Yeah, yeah. Tommy Fleetwood. Look at all that. And then, um, you know, second <laughs> behind him, probably uh, Jordan Spieth, just being, you know, kind of, you know, one of the. Yeah, boys. that's like where where I'm yeah. kind of looking at with my. Uh, I feel it's a safe bet, kind of safe, safe play, safe play. You know who I really like? I really like Russell Henley this week. I think his putter could take him home. I think uh, this is a good course for him. And. You know, I got faith in that. So I, th- I think Russell That's... Henley will play well. I think Matt Fitzpatrick is going to be one to watch out for. He hasn't played since the players, so he's been eager. And, you know. Finally took the weights out of his driver Shh. after uh, a year of playing with it with weights in it. <laughs> hey, man. Unbelievable, dude. Don't judge him. Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, it's just, it's just funny because he had weights. He had weights in all his clubs, and he took them out the irons and forgot that it was in his driver, and he'd been playing with it and couldn't figure out why he couldn't, couldn't hit the fucking ball straight. Hilarious. A silly goose for that. But now he's got him out, so he's going to hit it twice as far powerful, and he's going to win. So Matt Fitzpatrick <laughs> is is going to be up there for me on the on the winner's list. Um but I, I don't know. I you know, like a guy Maverick McNeely, he could put well. We got Doug Gim, he could play well. There's a lot of opportunity for guys to light it up. And we saw last week traditional, I put in a parlay that I thought was solid. It was like eight players or ten players or whatever just to make the cut. And these were all solid guys that I thought were legit gonna make the cut. I think four of them crapped out of it. I'm like, holy shit, this is like the worst parlay but like even you know look at a guy like nap who we thought was going to light it up and he wound up stinking it and stinking it stinking it and it's just up, dude. Nap, so think, he was I sleep think, <laughs> i think that it's very unpredictable right now when people say oh there's well competition whatever it's like dude yeah it's just unpredictable you got guys that yeah. should be playing good aren't playing good and maybe the courses are hard out there maybe they're making it more challenging maybe they want people to watch viewership is down so they do have to work on something whatever it is but I don't know. They'll figure that's it out. That's because the WNBA is lighting it up right now. Those girls oh. are taking all the views. That's Jeez it, dude. Christ. That's it. Dude, they're Steve, lighting it Steve up. Kaylin Clark wow. and all these girls are fucking lighting shit up over there, man. Jesus Christ. What? Wildin', man. They're, they're getting the views, man. I'm hearing the views and listening to stuff on ESPN. Like, Good. Coming damn close time. To yeah, I'm saying I'm still not going to buy a ticket, but I mean, I'll watch from <laughs> home. <laughs> I'm still waiting for LeBron to retire and then go over to the WNBA. Oh man, why do you he's, think Wayne Wade had this his kid transition? He's going in there. Oh, <laughs> that's why. Listen, listen, stay ahead, bro. He's <laughs> three steps ahead. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking at the future, man. You I'm put, we're gonna build it around Miami. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, before I stop. Wait, wait, before we get out of here, it's it's right on the money, but before we get out of here, wait, Brian Harmon is my winner. I'm going to change everything up. Brian Harmon. Oh, oh, before anything, too, I had another great idea. I'm not sure if, if you're this much of a risk taker, but uh, why don't we just play the same two people this tournament and run it back, double or nothing? Billy Ho, Akshay, and, run and it back? You, and you got the favor on me, so... Okay, I, done. Let's just see. You know, I just thought it would be a great idea. My guy, Billy just... Ho, plays machine golf, okay? He's right, ready for another right. one. Top I'm 20. I'm not going to go easy. down twice like this. Billy Ho is going to put in a top 20 here. <laughs> <laughs> top 20 i was just wondering if you were you know if you're a risk taker if you're gonna go that route obviously G- give the fat guy a chance to get his money back hey man that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be another interesting week between it really two, is guys, to be honest like, it really will be i mean akshay's talent is unbelievable his he hits the ball so well he puts unbelievably so he's another he's a good putter another guy that could he's go low one day striker but he is one of those guys too he always has like some dumb fucking shoddy hits during a round that blows you know three strokes um but you know if he can just play it safe because there's not a lot of hazards out there just young uh, yeah relatively straightforward course um 
he could be a guy that goes low. I'm interested to see what happens between that battle again. <laughs> Those two, right? Yeah. You yeah. know what I like the, the fact the fact that it came down to one stroke and Akshay had two yeah. holes. Dude, play, I was I was watching like was... I don't care about losing to FanDuel, but when I lost to Sherman, I had to go and regroup with my <laughs> wife and make sure like <laughs> this came. Through. Am I literally? <laughs> what am I doing? I was like, I thought I was. There's no way I'm losing this. You bet. thought you're indestructible. I could just picture Sherman watching. I took the king off it. his throne, dude. Get out of here. The text message. I was like, you. Oh my god. <laughs> he did not. Billy he Hor- didn't, he got me. He Billy Horschel, baby. Good win, though. You better just enjoy it while it's here. Enjoy that one. Hey, you know who I think is going to enjoy it while he's here is Hideki Matsuyama. I think when he is about to play a joke fun round before the real Masters, I think he's just going there to just, like, gamble at casinos in Texas and just rage. I think that's what he's going to wind up doing. Um, He's going to go over to Oklahoma border and just go over to the casinos, Windstar. He's going to get some (laughs) crab legs, get some fucking strippers. He's... He's going to be out chilling, oh, playing just some fun golf this week, lighting, lighting the mood for next oh week's Masters. God. I think he's using this as like his fun cushion. So I think Did that's why see? we're seeing Hideki. <laughs> he and his caddy just ripping. Just, just They're betting dead. on the Dodgers game. <laughs> that's what I mean. He's just going early to have fun. He's just going there for a week to eat crab legs and fucking chill. Oh, God. He's just going to play a practice round these four, four days. Probably get paid like 40K, 100K for finishing whatever. And then next week, he's just going to light it up at the Masters. That's my bold, bold pick. But no chance we, uh... at Connors? No. Dude, oh my God, he's showing just enough to say he could he could come back and win it again. I mean, he's won it twice already. Yeah, right. Damn. But yeah, I don't know. I think I think he's just been too inconsistent this year for me to say that's a guy. I was waiting to with. hear your input. I wanted to hear what you were gonna say just before I even thought about like looking. I was like, huh. Uh, I don't I mean, know. He's won, he's won twice, and uh, he seems to play putt really well at that course so i think it's just whether or not i mean has he actually figured out how to putt on that course and it doesn't matter how well he's playing in this whole year and it's just one of those guys that you know it's a course he likes it fits that his eye history plays as well but i don't know i mean I, I like i like the guys that i threw out there honestly i'm like really really high on all of them good brennan's high on all of them we're all high on life and uh <laughs> hey Maybe other things. I'm gonna be really high. I'm excited. This is way off topic, but I'm excited to share this news because I'm I can't wait. I'm counting down the days. I got called up to the big leagues, boys. I'm gonna be playing April 18th, Mirfield Village. Wow. Home of the Memorial big Tournament. League. Wow, big league golfing. Big league golfing. He's gonna get the GoPro by then. <laughs> yeah, GoPro POV the whole time. Footy, just wear it on the, the top footy, of your head. Need the footy. Yep. Or just slip Dude. an iPhone. No, you know what you do? You wear a collared shirt, slip the iPhone right in there. Oh, there, there you go. go. There you go. Yeah. Just let it all pull business. out when I swing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just no, use like a clip. Just clip it on there. No awkwardness. Dude, oh, I, I'm God. stoked though, man. It's uh, we're yeah. we're doing the whole thing, man. Let's we got, go. We got Let's Eddie go. Walk in it. It's good be for you, man. Big, man. Fucking firing it up. I don't care how many balls I lose or what I shoot. I mean, the fact that I'm getting an opportunity to play on that course where the select few Wait. outside of the, the tour players get to play, it's fucking awesome. Wait till you take a dump in the bathroom how good you're going to feel. I plan on taking multiple. I'm getting a milk. Make sure you take the disposable hand round. towels. That's always oh, a move that people always. don't – you know, when you go to your big fancy clubs, you got to take the T's, you got to get capitalized, take the little divot markers they give you for free, got to capitalize on the disposable towels out of the bathroom because they're like actual six times bounty paper towel. I don't know how they even make them this thick. They're like Kevlar, but take like 20 of those. I'm um, still reusing mine. Yeah, I load them up. Load them up. Patty's <laughs> just there rinsing off his TP. Already had it. <laughs> I already had them. That's right, Works kids. Great. Already had them. <laughs> Don't forget your pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> I made you. Oh, all right, boys. Is that all she Let's wrote? Send it. Let's, Let's send, send it. it for next week. And uh, man, we're running it back. We're running Run it back, back, man. We'll see. I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna keep you posted all week too. I want to see some text messages talking shit because that's all you got. I just want to see you it's know all noise. Venmo. That's it. Venmo. It's noise. People, win. people out there, I mean, every tournament he plays in, they got the Tiger Tracker. I mean, we're trying to bring to light. We got the Billy Ho auction. Billy Ho Tracker. <laughs> Let's go. It's Shout out. Dumb. 
Brian Harmon. I, I, hope, I hope it again it. is a close race between the two of them so that we can just continue this trend all the year. They're the just like the same level golfer. Perfect. That's Billy Ho Akshay, they're going to get married at the end of the season on VH1. <laughs> all right. Cheers. Later. <laughs>